द वीडियो इज इंटेंडेड फॉर एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग ऑफ आई सर्जन यूर डिस्क्रिप्शन इज एडवाइज एंड नॉट रिकमेंडेड फॉर चिल्ड्रन हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादी पाय हॉस्पिटल पी जी इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ केस वेर आई डिन डू हाइड्रो डिसेक्शन एंड वाई वुड आई डू इट इन अ रूटीन कैट ट्रैक इज इट द प्रिफर्ड मेथड मेनी सर्जन्स अक्रॉस ऑल्सो यूज दिस मेथड नो हाइड्रो डिसेक्शन फेको आई डोंट फाइंड इट लॉजिकल टू not to do hydro dissection in a routine case except posterior polar cataract or with posterior capsular dissections but here is a case where there is a extremely shallow anterior chamber and a grade 1 to 2 cataract and i am doing capsular axis here using the callisto i which is a markerless system and i am trying to target uh, the ccc or the visual axis and as you can see as i go along the because of the very shallowness of the anterior chamber when i was uh, planning to do hydro dissection i knew that if i push fluid the iris was uh, trying to come out of the main incision so i decided uh, let me go ahead without any hydro dissection here and uh, i will do hydro dissection later so this is a case where i have not done any hydro dissection so i entered the anterior chamber without the irrigation on to avoid iris prolapse and, and then i started the routing trenching which i do in all cases so the first trench central trench is done and i could divide the nucleus very easily and now i try to rotate the nucleus but because of lack of hydro dissection i cannot so i go to patwardhan sideways sculpting method this is the method i use for a grade 2 3 cataracts with posterior polar where i do sideways trenching and then divide the entire nucleus into four quadrants here and then i try to take out one quadrant at a time so you can see this particular quadrant was free so i could remove it very easily this was stuck i tried to apply some vacuum at the anterior end of this uh, particular quadrant but it was still adherent to the another quadrant so i decided to take out another quadrant from the other side that was done quite easily as you can see even without hydro dissection now the nucleus is rotating freely and this is what happens when you even if you have not done proper hydro dissection when you do trench divide the fluid is going to cleave the space between the cortex and the capsule and the nucleus will come out but of course if you do hydro dissection properly it, it's much easier than Uh, not doing hydro dissection in routine case so this is the end of the emulsification just have to take care uh, that you divide the nucleus properly and if required we can always do hydro dissection in between to rotate the nucleus so this is the end of the surgery uh, the anterior chamber is now filled with hyaluronate i am going to put a plate haptic toric trifocal iol and uh, for these kind of iols i prefer to use hyaluronate in the bag because the removing of the ovd behind the iol is tricky at times and for plate haptic i rotate the iol in the axis where i want to implant first and then push it into the bag this makes it easier to because it's always difficult to rotate once the plate haptics are in the bag and this is how we remove the ovd from the bag under the iol so we have to nudge the iol to one side and then try to remove the ovd from the bag this is important because otherwise we'll have capsular distension later may also result in myopic refractive error so the plate haptics are right on the target little bit nudging is what is needed to bring it on the axis of placement and this is the z line system of the callisto which is helping me to align the iol in the proper position quite accurate and hassle free as compared to the manual marking and for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel i hope you also visit our website fakotraining.org.in thank